up guys welcome back to javaessential.com and today we are gonna look about the public static void main java start java only start running a program with the specific keyword with public static void main with passing an string array so why do we use this public static void and main specifically we'll discuss about it so let's start our discussion with the public so the we the public is the is access specifier other access specifier in java are the private protect and one is the default but here we are using public and why we are restricted to public is we are invoking our main method and this function is invoked outside of the class now we are trying to invoke a function outside of the class and if the invocation has to be successful the access specifier of the main should be public and if we use the private if we use the private then it cannot invoke from the outside of the class and even if you will use the protected keyword it will be restricted to the class or its subclasses but not outside of this its uh, classes and the subclasses so that's why we are using the public now you will have a question you might have a question like we never call the main method then still why do we need to access this we are not calling the main method but who is calling the main method who needed main method to run the program JVM JVM needed the main method to run the program now the method in the program the main method in the program is accessed by the JVM which is far away here is our JVM and here is our main method and this is our class whatever the class is the JVM is trying to access the main method if you make it if you won't make it public it will try to access this main method but what it will get it won't find any main method in your class it find your class but if you make it uh, private or protected it won't be able to run your main method because it is not under its access JVM is not able to access that one so it will give an error please define a main method kind of thing like here is our program if we make it a private and if you're gonna run it from the command prompt now one more thing here is the we are first we are compiling our program there is no error in the compilation because every syntax what is the work of the compiler is compiler will only look for the syntax every single syntax is correct here but what's wrong it's private it is it also a syntax so compiler will won't give any error it will successfully compile your program but what will happen is JVM needed a particular things at least these things at least these things no, not the system that under print and at least uh, after that that these things it should be there in any Java program to, to make it run okay so JVM look for this one but what it found it will find a private and it is not accessible for the JVM so it will going to give an error like main method not found here is the on, on error main method not found in the class PV, PSVM example so what we have to do is we have to make it public to make it available for the JVM right now this program will definitely successfully run the compiler we, we need to compile this program again and here is our main method so to make it available to the JVM this, this method needs to be public now let's talk about the static now static is the keyword which when we enter the command java space our class name what in what happens internally is when we write java space whatever class name that is suppose psvm 
example after the compilation itself so what will happen is it will try to call your main method it will try to call your main method but at this time do you have any instance of this uh, class no right so it will call it by this class name by this class name itself it will call your main method how it will co it internally convert this line is ps vm example dot main this will call your main method now how you are accessing this main method you are accessing this main method via class name so you can access any method via class name by making it at static you don't have any instance of your class and you want to access your main method so it has to be static to make it available so that's why we are making it as static this is really an important interview question that how you can access any method without even creating an object so you can you can discuss over, over the static keyword and all about the properties about this static keyword over there okay so let's move uh, on one, one more thing when you are you, when you are making any method as a static this method is not instance re instance related but it is a class related so it can be accessed without creating an op an instance of that class so static means that main doesn't belong to any specific object that's it that, that's why this, there is a static keyword is there now let's talk about the void this means the main function does not returning anything this is the simple meaning of the void and unlike C and C++, Java is supposed to be platform independent and hence it cannot return a value to the operating system because it, it has to make the consistency. This need to be consistent. Whatever, even if you are returning any value, it needs to be consistent and how you are sure about the, all the platform will behave according to your uh, 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 same in the same way. Every platform has different representation, right? So you are not going to return any value to make the consistency across all the platform then what about the main the main is the, the main is internally configured inside the jvm when the jvm runs the program it will only look for the main method so jvm is internally configured to look for the main method itself if you change this main method something else instead of the main it is not going to run this program it will say again the same error will be occur the main main doesn't found in your class and please write this 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 kind of with the th with this thing with this syntax it will give an error now here is one question can we change it C can we run can we create a java program with a different main wi with a different method name which won't contain main main method but it contains your specific your customized main method definitely it is possible because java is a platform uh, java is an open source application and jvm is available you have what you need to do is you need to download the jvm with the source code and you look where this main method is being called in the jvm and config just change that main just change that uh, configuration for your specific method and it will call and it will look only for this math method and if you if it won't found that method it will give an error now here is the problem java is meant for the platform independent it should be run you have to if you write one program here it should be run across all the platforms that is available now the problem is if you change the JVM according to your need and if you took your program to your friend's computer what will happen is your friends have different JVM which is configured to look for the main method now what you have did it what you did is you have configured your JVM this is your JVM and this is your main method right This is your JVM, and here it is your customized ABC main method. Now your JVM is configured for this method. There is no issue. 
your JVM is customized for this this main method. No, no issue. Now, if you took the same program, if you took the same program to your friend's computer, it has a default JVM. It is having the default JVM. And now you will, if you try to run your program here, it will give an error by saying that main method not found. If you want to run this program to this your computer. friends PC now, if you want this program to be run in your friends computer what you have to do is you have to took this JVM your customized JVM you have to took this customized JVM to your friends computer if you took this customized JVM instead of instead of the default JVM if you took this customized JVM to your friends computer then only you will be able to run this application so now you are now you are making this uh, benefit of the java the platform independent to the platform dependent you are making uh, making your program to be dependent on your customized jvm so it is definitely it is not recommended because it is not going to run across everywhere you need your program with your jvm so it is not recommended to change that code inside the jvm guys and uh, what about that uh, string array argument you can pass any argument to uh, that uh, string argument to while running the java code like i'll show you here if you uncomment this section and if you are passing anything into the args we are accessing to the args and the zeroth position and you, I, I think you know that uh, how the array is going to store the data in the continu continuous memory location so how it will going to work is it will print this value and if you pass some parameter it is going to print in this value here so what we need to do is we need to compile this program we need to run this program and we need to pass this parameter success and here it is here this is this is the first line and this is the our parameter that we passed here so we can pass even though you are not using frequently this uh, parameter but still it is available with the java so that's it guys let's just summarize quick summarize this whatever we have discussed till now Publix is the access specifier and it is here to make it available publicly to the jvm our our method is to be available publicly to the jvm that's why we make it public stat is the keyword we use the static keyword so that we don't need to create an object we can call this method by itself the by by only the class name itself and why is it what is the key what is the keyword so we are not going to return any value that's why we are using void and main is the name which is configured in the jvm so we have to use this main and we can pass any string array as a parameter and here is some few thing is there that we can change the sequence of these things like if you don't want to use public here you can use a static public void it is not going nowhere it is going to error it is compiler will also it, it for the compiler also everything is correct and the, for the jvm also everything is correct the sequence is d doesn't matter here i'll show you the here it is successfully compilation of our program and here is our output so it is not going to affect your program if you change the sequence of the static, void, and public. Okay. So that's it, guys. That's it for this tutorial. And please do subscribe our channel and like our videos. It encourage us to make more videos, which will be helpful. And if you want video on some specific topic, please comment us here. Please comment below we'll definitely answer we'll definitely try to make video on that one okay thank you guys